Hey guys, Jeremy here uh, in a treehouse. This is a interesting place to review a film, but I, it's kind of uh, near where a place that I'm staying, and I've always wanted to do a video up here because I thought this was kind of cool just to do one in a natural environment. Anyways, uh, this is my review for uh, my friend and boss of Mark Wilmot's film, Blood Cabin. He wrote and executive produced this film. He's also the guy who I've been doing the Nightmare on Elm Street films with. This film was also directed by Steven Stiller, who directed and wrote another short film that these guys put together called The Hole, which is a very good short film about uh, Canadian soldiers in the First World War. Blood Cabin is a short horror film, and the thing that you will have to go into right off the bat is this is a very, very limited budget, so it's very short, and it's very precise with what it's doing. Well, a few things are not uh, completely answered, but as is with a short film. So what this film is about, it starts off with this woman uh, in, on an old film reel strip, kind of very in, kind of reminiscent of uh, Insidious. And we see her sit in a bathtub and reach for a razor in a very, very cool slide away from her. And then we cut to present day where a couple, uh, featuring the actor who was the main actor in The Hole, and he's there with his girlfriend. He kind of explains about the history of the cabin, how his mom won it from a divorce. Obviously, there's some bad blood there. So a little bit of hinting at some possible avenues of how this whole haunting starts. Anyways, within a few minutes, the guy already has a shirt off, which is funny because from what my boss has told me, apparently any time they have this guy in a short film of theirs, they always try to take his shirt off as quickly as possible, aside from the hole, obviously. They're trying to get all you know physical but then she sees something and after that then this weird sort of haunting happens to them it's a series of self-inflicted pain uh hidden uh hauntings and a deep dark past of the creature monster in question and i'll admit some of the visuals are actually pretty good there's one particularly of the girl's hand a bleeding hand hanging out of a bathtub i'll say that the acting's decent because again it's a short film you can't really judge anyone on character um more so it's guy and girl and other girl so that's basically how i describe them um i think it has some cool shots there's some cool horror jumps uh, there's one moment though, there's, there's two moments that made me laugh. The first one is when the girl, um, she's in a precarious situation of certain horror and pain and she looks at a door before the door slides shut. I think she was more so, the turn is supposed to be her looking as the door is closing but she looks at the door and then two seconds later the door closes. Uh, the second one is, I don't know if this was intentional or not but at one point the guy who is shirtless goes outside and I don't know the ending kind of made me think of a part of from paranormal activity but either way something he becomes very oh like something surprises him and he peck jumps and I don't know if he was intentionally doing that but it was very funny in my opinion either way this is an interesting little short horror film it inspires um, people like me and other people who want to get out and make our own little short horror films whether they be completely con uh, concise are kind of mysterious in the sense of what they are. This is still an interesting little short horror film. I would definitely suggest you guys check it out and it kind of just inspires you to make your own little short horror films and they're actually in talks right now to make a film, a trailer they made called uh, Mark and Steve vs. the Woods uh, into a short film so hopefully that, if you guys haven't seen that trailer I'll put that in uh, the uh, title cards at the end because it's a very funny trailer for the idea of a movie anyways guys hope you enjoyed this little review mark and St steve hope you guys don't mind me pointing out a few things but no it was interesting anyways uh, i like to see what you guys do next and i'll see you guys later now i gotta try and get out of this tree